sending a special nail addict shout out to Exotica's Empire, Rochelle Howard, Queen Miss Chris, and Nails on Cassie Mines for being the first four to comment on my last video. Thank you, ladies. Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So I'm using my Eno Couture XXL stilettos for today's set. I love these stilettos. Y'all gonna see these are a shape that I feel like looks absolutely amazing on me. For today's set, I'm using McCart's Poly Gel by the name of Crimson Cherry. Again, they don't sell it, but if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it. I'm also using Madame Glam's uh, gel paint here by the name of Love Out Loud. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into the set. So today is a Lazy Girl set, and I am doing the Lazy Girl method, the typical one bead method. I am taking Crimson Cherry and I'm just placing it into the nail well, starting with the thumb. I'm gonna take my poly gel brush and some slip solution. Today's slip, slip solution is 91% alcohol and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that into this nail well in entirety, making sure that I do touch all the side walls and pushing the poly gel to where it does form around the cuticle very thinly before placing it on my nail. So with the Lazy Girl Method, you do want to make sure you're properly prepping your nails before even applying the nail to your actual natural nail. So to prep, you would normally go in with your cuticle pusher and push back the skin a bit. Then you're going to take an e-file or a hand file and just uh, remove any of the um, dead skin that may be around the cuticle. And you also want to rough the surface of your natural nail for better adherence. You would then apply a dehydrator and a primer of your choice and a base gel curing that for 30 seconds. And at that point, you're ready to go ahead and apply your Lazy Girl nails. So typically, if I was keeping these on, that would be the very first thing I would do even before putting the poly gel into the nail well, just because, again, once I get this set how I want, it is going straight onto my nails. So it does make it a lot easier if it's already, you know, your nails already prepped and ready to go. But again, I'm just taking my time and just placing this uh, poly gel in, making sure it's nice and smooth, and then I'll go ahead and apply that to my nail. So once I have the poly gel to my liking, again, I'm just lightly pressing that onto my nail. And I'm gonna apply a bit of pressure, not much, just a little bit. And it should fit your nail exactly how you see here. Um, if there's any spillage, you wanna take a brush and some alcohol and just clean that up before curing so that nothing cures to your skin. When you're doing the Lazy Girl Method as well, it's important to size up. So if you normally wear like a two on your thumb, you wanna use a one because you're putting product into the nail. So you wanna make sure that it does lay on your nail very nicely um, without you having to force it down. You also wanna turn it over and I had no spillage, so I'm ready to cure that for 30 seconds. And I'm going in again on my index finger and just repeating the same thing. This is such a beginner friendly and very easy way to get very nice nails. Um, and with proper prep, your Lazy Girl nails will last you two plus weeks. Um, I do videos a lot, so I am taking them right off. I did a peel off today, but I know this because I've done my own in the past. I do my daughter's a lot. She loves the Lazy Girl method. Um, it's a really great quick way to get a good base color onto your nail. Um, and so I do it with her a lot and they do last very, very well. Also a very important tip before actually applying the poly gel to the, the nail tip itself, you wanna make sure the inside of the nail tip is etched. Um, one of the best ways to do that is with primer, but you can also etch it with a uh, e-file. These 
uh, tips here from Enel Couture already come etched, so they're just perfect. All I have to do is apply the poly gel and secure that on my nail, and I'm ready to go. So with the 1B method, as you just saw, it kind of the poly gel kind of got stuck to my glove. That's the one reason why I don't like the one bead. I prefer two beads when doing my lazy girl because the top is already cured. So when I go to place it onto my nail, there's nothing, you know, going to stick. Um, I always make sure to clean around the cuticle, always make sure to look underneath the nail as well to make sure there's um, nothing like bulked up underneath and then I would give that a 30 second cure once I feel everything is to my liking. I must say the application for this set was very nice. I absolutely loved my application of these Lazy Girl nails. Now I'm typically not a red girl, but I did want to do a red Christmas set just, you know, because red is a typical color of Christmas. Um, so these would definitely be coming off either way just because they're so fire engine red. They're so pretty though. I do like this color it's really really vibrant and very nice but for me I just feel like it doesn't fit me really well but again it's super super nice I do hope that everyone is having an amazing morning afternoon evening or night wherever you may be and thank you so much to anyone that's taking the time to watch the video or have watched any of my other videos I greatly appreciate you I am on day 15 of my 25 days of Christmas nails so pretty much halfway there and if you haven't checked out any of my other videos go ahead and check them out leave a like and a comment i would greatly appreciate it if you're new to my channel welcome to the nail attic family and i do thank you so so much for joining me on my nail journey it just means the world to me and if you're subscribed to the channel i love you more than words can say i'm very thankful and grateful for each and every one of you So for some of these tips, I'm running out of certain sizes, so I did have to like file around the cuticle to get it to fit my actual nail, just to like customize it a bit so that I'm able to use them. So like my middle and my ring finger are two of the nails where I had to actually customize the cuticle area of the nail in order for it to fit properly onto my actual nail and i'll show that in another video like if i do another lazy girl and i'm using tips that are a bit too big i'll show you how i would customize them to fit my cuticle but basically you just take a file and just round out that tip to match your actual nail you know your cuticle area um and it's really really easy and you get good use out of nails like if they're too big because you know how sometimes you buy nail tips and there are some that you may never use you can use them you just customize them to your your actual nail and it works out now y'all this was a rushed set i literally did this set today on the 15th same day so i was a little disappointed my line work wasn't where it should be and that's just again because i actually rushed so i want to do better next week and get back on my roll of like having my videos fully prepped all for next week so that i'm just basically uploading every day and it just makes it so much better and my sets come out so much nicer if i'm not rushing Again, I do feel like my application was really nice, though, on this one. Um, after filing, shaping, and all of that, I feel like they came out really, really nice. Uh, but it was definitely a rush situation because this was done the same day. I'm doing my voiceover now. I'm about to go do um, some nails in a minute. Um, go to someone's house and do some nails in a minute. And in between all of that, I'm trying to get this video together for you guys today because I should have did this last night, but I was just too exhausted, too tired to even think about it. It. so i definitely had to get something out today and here we are so i'm finishing up with now with my pinky i'm gonna place that on my nail and cure for 30 seconds and i'll be back for the the next step
So then I take a lint-free wipe and some alcohol and just rub down the nails because the poly gel does leave an inhibition layer after it is cured. So you want to make sure you take off that sticky and tackiness and that's exactly what I'm doing here before going over to the next step. So I'm taking my Efa, a mandrill, and a sanding band, and I am going around my cuticle to remove any spillage and make it more flushed to my natural nail. Now, with my recordings lately, I noticed like I'm so zoomed in, like it's too zoomed in. Um, I used to have like the perfect videos, man. Everything was just like in frame like it's supposed to be. You don't have to kind of like struggle to see much like it is just like on point and I've been off lately but I'm gonna get to working on that this next week because it's been bothering me when I go to do the voiceover and look back at it it's like Jesus I'm so close but it is what it is I mean you can see what I'm doing so I guess that's a plus but it's just really zoomed in um, I would like to show my filing a bit more just because a lot of people say, you know, they get surprised when I show it because I don't show it. But I feel like that's an extra step that if you don't need to see that, I mean, it's OK. I don't feel like it's always necessary to put in filing because typically we do know how to file. Um, there may be some beginners out there that might want some tips and tricks. Me, when I'm doing this, I go at about six RPMs. And I just take my time um, and go around and just get up everything that I see fit to get up. Um, when you're using an e-file, you do want to be very, very careful because you can cut yourself. So you definitely don't want to stay in one spot. You want to make sure you keep that moving so that you're able to um, have a you know, great experience. You're not cutting yourself or anything like that. Um, I love an e-file though. I hope I have some PR to show y'all very soon. I'm super excited to show this. I'm super excited to try it. So um, look out for that. That should be coming very, very soon. And I'll let you finish watching me file my cuticle area. And then I'm going in with a mini buffer and just buffing the shine off of all the nails so I'm ready to go in with my nail art. So I'm going in and I'm placing a matte top coat over all of the nails because this is going to be a matte set and then I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. So for my index pinky and thumb, I'm just going to do a sweater design. So I'm using my long liner brush from Ina Couture and I'm making the outer parts of it first. I don't know why, but with this design, I feel like I like to make the outer lines first because um, it just everything will fit better for me. Um, so typically everyone goes down the center first with the design then outline it and then put the little side lines on the nail i prefer to go in and do my center piece depending on what design i'm going to do 
Um, and then I'm going to take my um, nail art brush from McCart number three. And I'm going to start into the center with a typical uh, sweater nail design. Um, I feel like it came out so good. I feel like these colors matched really well. So the red from McCart, which was Crimson Cherry, and then the red from Madame Glam, which was, um, I forget, Love Something. <laughs> Y'all don't beat me up, but they went so well. And I've been trying to do this lately, like find poly gels and gels in my collection that match each other to kind of like do sets to incorporate both of them. Um, because typically with a set like this, you see people do like the base, they all paint it with the polish and then do the design on top. But I, you know, want to switch it up and use as much as my poly gel as I can. I have like so much poly gel it doesn't make sense so i'm jumping back into my poly gel and getting all that together and doing some really cute sets for it so i'm gonna let you finish watching me create this design And then I'm pouring over with the acrylic and I'm going to like dust it up, like, you know, dust off some of that acrylic and then give that a 30 second cure. So for the next design, I messed up. I should have just did my sweater design first and I don't know, I was just overthinking it. So I'm making a black line with Madame Glam's Perfect Black. And then at the top portion of this nail, I'm gonna do like a side sweater nail, the same design that I did on the index. And then the bottom portion of this is going to be a, a plaid design. So with the plaid design I did, I used Madame Glam Black. And then I I put some other, you know, another like little uh, puddle of the black on my palette and just like diluted it with top coat so it would be a little bit more translucent or lighter. And I'm just going to do different, like a plaid design with black and then like um, a lighter black and then white. So it's really, really simple. But again, you see me now going in with that same um sweater design on the top portion of this nail uh, just sideways and then once I get it how I want I do go in and pour over the acrylic and then give that a 30 second cure And here's where I messed up on my nails, I want to say, because this was, again, a very rushed set. I was getting off work and I needed to just like kind of do this really quickly to prepare for my afternoon of nails as well. So too quick, like I had more thought into this, like I wanted my lines nice and thin and straight and it was just a little bit all over the place just because it was a rushed set but i definitely want to try another plot design with very thin lines just to see if i can actually achieve it you know a little bit better it wasn't horrible but it could have been a lot better but i'll let you watch me create my uh plot design And then I'm going in and just matting the bottom of the snail and giving that a 30 second cure. So 
So for the ring finger, I'm doing a snowflake design and I messed up on this too. The lines were extremely thick, very rushed. I hate rushing on sets, but again, I just went with it. I almost wanted to just file off all of the design on the middle and the ring and redo them for good measures, but it is what it is. None of us are perfect and y'all are going to get messed up sets from people time to time. Um, it wasn't horrible, but again, it could have been a lot better. But I'm creating the snowflake, and I'm leaving that wet, and I'm just going to pour over that acrylic, um, and then cure for 30 seconds. So this is the final nail that I'm going to show on camera because again, the, the pinky and thumb were the exact same as the index. And I will be back in just a moment with the final look. I also did apply some cuticle oil off camera. And here is the finished set. I just love the vibrancy of it as far as like the reds. Everything looks really, really well together. But comment down below and let me know what you think of this set. And if you've made it this far, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you for joining today and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to be the very best you that you can be. And much love to all.